Okay, tonight for dinner I'm going to be making um, the title of the recipe is Grandma's Slow Cooker Chili. And it's a vegetarian chili, but it has a lot of stuff in it, more than I normally would put in a vegetarian chili. So this would be great for meat eaters or meat freers because it's a lot of stuff and it'd be very filling. And I got this recipe also from the um, nutrition class that I'm taking at um, my college. I'm taking it online and there's a forum like I explained in my other video, um, if you've seen that one already, the uh, black bean lasagna. I got it off the recipe forum. They like, you know, she encourages us to post um, recipes on there. And so I've gotten, this is the second one I'm making, so that's really neat. And I'll probably be bringing more of those to you as we go along. But um, I'm just going to show you the ingredients. This is very, very easy. It's basically just chopping and dumping cans. But I wanted to share with you the ingredients and then kind of show you how to put it together and then show you the finished product. Okay, so what we have, and I've changed this up a little bit because certain things I didn't have or, or didn't want to buy. I just had other things that I used. Okay, you'll need one can of chickpeas. And these are uh, 15 ounce cans. So I've got one can of those. Now do drain these. Then it called for a can of black bean soup. She recommended Amy's, the lady who posted this. But um, I didn't have any black bean soup and that's kind of pricey. So I had a can of black beans. So I'm just using that. And I did, did I drain these? I think. No, I did not drain those. I'm not gonna drain those. If yours is uh, really watery, you can drain it, and I may do that later, depending. Um, and I have light red kidney beans. It calls for one can of that. You can use the dark if you like. Now, do drain those because it's real watery. Water, I can't say that word. <laughs> um, next, it calls for a can of vegetarian uh, baked beans. Well, we, we all know that baked beans have a lot of sugar, and I was trying to save a little bit on that, and I also had this can. So I'm using chili beans, it's in small, um, small red beans and chili sauce. So I wanted to use that instead of the, um, the baked beans. And then it calls for a can of diced tomatoes um, in the juice. So don't drain this either, or the chili beans. Um, or if you use the um, baked beans, don't drain it. Then a can of whole kernel corn, drain that because that's just water on there. Okay, then you'll need... Uh, chili powder and in the recipe of course I'm having to look it calls for one tablespoon of chili powder but you can do that to taste um, it doesn't call for any salt and pepper but I'm gonna put a little salt and a little of pepper and then it calls for Italian seasoning for a teaspoon of that no a tablespoon. I'm having to walk over here to the laptop. But I'm going to use, I don't have any Italian seasoning. I'm going to use this Bragg's um, seasoning. And it has, thank you, Scott. He's so sweet. He, bring, he brought my laptop over here. I thought I'd, you'd think I could figure that out, but no. Um, and this has like mo mostly stuff that um, Italian seasoning has in it um, along with other things. But I'm going to use that. And then it calls for one bell pepper. And it's just a whole, um, a whole bell pepper, and I just chop that up. And you can finely chop it or rough chop it. Then it calls for one onion, and I'm using a sweet onion, and just chop that up about the same size. And it calls for two cloves of fresh garlic, but I use three because I like garlic. So you can use as much or as little as you want. But that's the ingredients, and I'm going to bring you over here to the slow cooker and kind of show you what I'm going to do. Scott, will you hold this camera for me? Just hold it facing the, and come on this side so I can dump stuff. Okay, first I'm going to put in, if I can find my knife, I'm going to put in all the vegetables. Now, go ahead and set your slow cooker on high, because this cooks on high for at least two hours. And if you want to cook it on low, like while you go to work, and I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> this is a mess. But anyway, um, you can put it on low and then also um, just let it cook for double that time. So about four hours, four or five hours. But just rake all this in there and don't get it all over the counter like I just did. 
Luckily, I have a helper to put in my drippings. But yeah, just put that in the slow cooker, and you don't have to do this in any order, but I wanted to do this so I could break up some of the chunks. Because you know when you're chopping, you kind of, if you're in a hurry. But yeah, if you want to cook this all day, I mean, you could cook it longer than four hours, but I would say if you're going to cook it on low, do it four to five hours, or you can even go six. It'll just be, you know, softer, which is fine, because chili is soft and Bailey's smelling it. No onion for you, baby. Okay, now I'm going to get my pan a rinse, because I <laughs> stuck them in garlic and onions. Okay, and then next, you can just keep it on the pot. I'm just going to come over there. Okay. okay, then I'm going to dump in the chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and you just make sure you drain those. I'm going to give this a little drain, the black beans. I'm going to just dump those in. Now, as we all know, black beans are kind of hard to get out of the can sometimes, so you may have to grab a spoon, but I got lucky that time. Then you're going to put in your kidney beans, either light or dark, one 15-ounce can of that. And you're going to mix this all up. And then your um, chili beans, or if you're using your um, baked beans, you can put those in. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the diced tomatoes. Are you, is she still in my show? She is. This is diced tomatoes in the juice. Don't drain that because you need that liquid. Then your drained whole kernel corn. I think I could eat this raw, or not raw, but... <laughs> okay, and next we're going put to put in our seasonings, and I am not going to measure this. You can if you like, but I don't care to do that. <laughs> so it says a tablespoon of chili powder, and you say that's a tablespoon? Sure. What do you say? I say it is. And we're experts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, it's, yeah, a tablespoon of the, the Italian seasoning, which I'm using this. And I would say about like that. Okay, and Bailey's eating the top. Yes, I just blew off the top and put it back on, I'll tell you. All right, and then salt, I'm just going to put about, about that much, about a teaspoon, I'd say. And then pepper, I'd rather have fresh cracked pepper, but we don't have any, so I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that. And then you're going to take a spoon, hopefully... A bigger spoon. So, we no. so we'll just use a big wooden spoon. So you're just going to take that and you're going to have to use some muscle to work this around. And in, you can add like some, it doesn't call for like tomato sauce, but you can add that if you like. But I'm going to see what we have to give it a little more liquid. V8 juice like that I'm gonna add some of that in it about that much and it's you know it's like tomato puree I guess any anyway, tomato juice but just kind of get it to the consistency that you like and just mix it up it doesn't have to be really well because you can mix it as you go want a little bit more tomato you want it a little more juicy? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And you just, you know, just do this to your own taste. And you can use, like, tomato sauce. Uh, you can put water in this. You can put um, vegetable stock. Or if you're using meat in this, if you're wanting to add some meat, you could put, like, chicken stock or beef broth or whatever. But, yeah, so I think that looks really good. Mm -hmm. And just let it just let it cook down and I'm just going to kind of mash it down and you know if you need to add liquid as you go along you can but that's what it's going to look like when you put it in the pot just cover it up put it on high and let it cook for at least two hours I'll be back to show you what it looks like okay this is what it looks like when it's finished see it's big chunks of the beans and the tomatoes and the corn and then um, you can put a little cheese, that's Mexican cheese, and this is um, 
the sour cream and Scott's putting a little bit of crushed red pepper flake on his mm -hmm. but oh no thank you and um but there it is and it's got you know it's got juice I put more juice in mine than his but that is it this is um the title is grandma's slow cooker chili but this is just a hearty vegetarian chili and make it and let me know how you like it I will talk again soon bye bye